Hello, I'm Jeff Dodson. I'm uh, part of the uh, Papworth team ministry to the west of Cambridge, looking after 15 rural parishes. I'm also on the national steering group of the Agricultural Chaplains Association. And here in the team each year we uh, have a rogation ramble where we go for a walk and admire all the different aspects of the countryside, the gardens, the orchards, the woodland, the fields and the livestock like the sheep behind me. And I'm indebted to uh, Seasonal Worship in the Countryside, a book from SBK a long time ago. And in this video I want to give you a flavour of what we do by taking a few of the settings from around and about our team and uh, including the prayers that we use as we journey around the countryside. Let us leave this place of worship built to the glory of God. Let us go out into the glory of God's creation. Let us seek for the wisdom to understand the rhythm of life, our own rhythms and the rhythms of the earth, to dance with the Spirit in the joy of God's creation. From petty feuds and jealousies, from talking too much about our neighbours, from forming into groups that exclude others, from lack of proper trust and sharing, good Lord, deliver us. For the pleasure of having friends nearby, for the opportunities to plan and play together, for those who spend their time and talents to improve and beautify our surroundings, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the hard work which takes place here and ask your blessing on the family and the whole enterprise. We thank you for the working animal and for the machines which take the toil out of our labour. Keep all the food, equipment and materials in this place safe from disease, pollution and theft so that they may play their part in bringing in a harvest to clothe and feed your world. Amen. O Lord, who sends the rain and the sun, so the grass may grow, giving food for your animals, bless these fields, that they may glorify you, by giving abundant nourishment to the animals pastured here. Give us the love and wisdom to look after our animals, and through our care of the fields, pass them on to the next generation in good heart, worthy of the trust you have placed in us. Amen. We give thanks, O oh God, for all the different kinds of trees in the world, all with their own properties and virtues. For wood, which gives us warmth, is used for building, provides paper for our everyday use, and is turned into furniture because of its strength and beauty. We thank you for the flowers, animals and birds which live in and among the trees, finding safety, shelter and food. Forgive us when we waste the precious gifts that come from trees and when we destroy them heedlessly. Amen. O oh Lord, we need to accept that you made us all so different with our own temperaments and talents. Like plants, we cannot change our nature, yet you rejoice in each one of us being special. Help us to come to terms with who we are and what we're called upon to do, wherever our lives are planted. Grant that we may praise you and glorify your name. Amen. May the blessing of God be upon this field and all the cereal crops and cornfields of our countryside. May they receive rain to swell the grain and sun to ripen it. May the harvest be safely gathered in and stored. May we see ourselves as harvesters for eternal life. For look, 
The fields are already ripe for harvest. Amen. And so our rural ramble ends, back at the place of worship where we began. And may God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the source of all goodness and growth, pour his blessing upon all things created, and upon you, his children, that you may use them to his glory and the welfare of all peoples, and the blessing of God Almighty. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you, and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>